This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with another PowerPoint tip to help you make happy hour. How to add leader lines to a waterfall chart in PowerPoint 2013. And I'm going to start where we left off with our last example, our negative waterfall chart and add leader lines, which looks like this. So this allows you to visually see where everything starts and stops within your graph. And here in PowerPoint, I'll start by right clicking the chart to open up Excel. And remember, you want to open up Edit Data in Excel 2013 to open the full version of Excel. And I'll maximize the spreadsheet so it fills my screen. Now to add leader lines, we need to overlay a second level of information into our plot area up top that we're going to change the lines back in PowerPoint. And the rule of thumb is you always need one less leader line than you have categories in your chart. As I have five categories, you can see a count of five down here below in my chart, that means I need four leader lines. So I'm simply going to click into E1, type L1, tab, L2, tab, L3, L4. I'll do some quick adjusting or formatting, control shift minus sign to take away the borders, control shift seven to add outside borders like that. Now to do this, we need to create a start and stop for each category. So each leader line needs two data points. So I'll start with leader line one, L1, select two cells, and we want to start and stop at the first total. So it's 40, I'll type 40, hold control and hit enter, and we're done with the first leader line. I'll then navigate to the next one. It starts at 70, so we want to start and stop at 70. Type 70, control enter, the next one, 90, control enter, and the final one, 80, control enter, and you can see that the leader lines create a kind of step-like process there in the plot area. With that, we can then close Excel and move back to PowerPoint. So I'll hit Control W on my keyboard to close Excel, Control W, and we're back in PowerPoint and our graph doesn't look like much other than that weird floating purple bar. So we need to change our new data points into lines, which is now super easy in PowerPoint 2013. Right click the chart, we want to select Change Series Chart Type, which launches a dialog box. And here in PowerPoint 2013, you can see we have this new combo box, which automatically opens. Now if we scroll down, you can see my L1, L2, L3, and L4 right there. And I can simply change these to lines. You want to choose the line option, not the stack line. Change it to line. And you can see as I do this, my data points within the chart, we get a live preview, start to turn into the leader lines that I need for my graphic. Once you've changed all the lines, simply hit OK. And we're back in the normal view and you can see I have these colored leader lines throughout my graphic. Now to get these leader lines to blend into my graphic or my graph, I simply need to change the outline color. I'll use my QAT, Alt 4, change it to black, and I'll hit Alt 4 W and change the outline weight to be the same as my data points. So you can see if I click away, the line now integrates into my graphic. And I'll do the same thing for these other lines, Alt 4 black, Alt 4 W half point. Alt 4 black, Alt 4 W half point. And you can download our customized QAT by subscribing on our website. I'll hit escape twice. And there you have a waterfall chart with leader lines, which is a nice additional visual element to add when working with waterfall charts like this. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.